Hi, I'm Eni. I'm going to quickly show you how you can create your own movie poster using our Photoshop template. This is the template and here's the finished poster created for an imaginary film called Off Track. And here is the production still that I'm using. You will need something that's roughly 5000 pixels wide, so not a screenshot unless you're shooting in very very high res. Um, I've already made a copy of the, the image and keyed out the main character using the mask tool. The purpose of masking is that you can adjust the foreground and the background separately, as you can see here. Yeah, you can have more control over the whole thing. Or you can use another background altogether. Uh, let's open the template. It's all blank. It's because we have turned off all the layers to decrease the size of this PSD file. So turn them all on and let's go get the image we're using. So what you want to do is you want to grab both layers and just um, drag and drop them on top of the template all at once. Just making sure that they stay on top of each other and just align them as you wish. What I'm going to do here is taking that background layer and dragging it all the way down, 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 here in the background folder on top of this, replace this layer. Um, and then I'm dragging the foreground into this feature character folder and getting rid of this creepy boy. Here we go. And I'm turning on the filter layers and reapplying the clipping mask, which makes sure that they only apply to this foreground image and not the entire poster. Now, I think I need to move the image up a little bit whenever you do this. Make sure you select both layers so that you don't misalign them by accident. Just, I'm just creating a little bit more room for the credits here. Now let me adjust the filters on the background image. You can basically just change the opacity of these or you can bring in other layers, other filters or turn them all off, whatever works for you. I'm throwing that out. Okay, let's go edit the text. So basically just click on it and type in your title. This is off track. I'm going with white color and changing it to light. And when you edit the shadow, it's just another text box flipped around. So do exactly the same edits to that. It'll actually match the one on top. Now what I need to do here is change the layer mode to normal so that it actually shows up. Maybe adjust the opacity as well. And then I'll nudge it upwards so that I can actually make them meet like that. Here we go. Now the tagline. Let's make that light as well. And I'm going to find the text that we're using. Here's our new tagline. So there we go with that. Now the awards. Let's hide two of them since this imaginary film only has three imaginary awards. Um, copy the text, bring it in. Now let's move on to the credits or the billing block. Here we go. Um, as you can see here, I've already formatted the text so that all the names are in capitals and the other text is in lower caps. This will help um, when you're pasting it in. 
for the the name state larger than the other text you might have to change the line height to fit it all in there we go and now we only need to put in the web address yeah. this is the line where you can also put the theater release date or coming soon or your logos whatever you need to add um, now all we need to do is save it and send it to the printer um, how you sending it to the printer obviously depends on your printer and their preferences what I'm going to do here is I'm just flattening the image to decrease the size again um, and saving it as Photoshop PDF which is one of the standard formats for printer I'm calling it print file save just make sure there's no compression or color conversion so it stays the same save PDF and close Photoshop and see what we have so close that too there it is finished file it already has crop marks bleeds and it's in CMYK color space so it's good to go I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching